Hey, how's it going? And may the fourth be with you today. <laughs> I was dying to say that all day today. So anyway, what we're exploring today is the multigate function. And what got me started on this is that I had been in a blueprint function earlier today and I had pressed M and left clicked and I noticed the multigate function popped up. And I thought, well, there must it must be a pretty popular function for it to come up so easily. So it just had me experimenting with it today. Basically what we created is I have a trigger blueprint in the scene. It's a trigger blueprint where it simply, you go over the box trigger, this box trigger, and then it makes an event dispatch to a widget. And this widget is just an overlay with live, laugh, love on it with three text variables, live, laugh, love, in that order, live, laugh, love, all in an overlay. And then over here in the graph, we get that event dispatch from our trigger blueprint and it comes on on a bind. We set all the live, laugh, love to hidden. And then we have our multigate right here. And this is what I wanted to explore with you today. What's interesting about this is I thought that these would fire sequentially but really what it does is it only fires one and then you re-trigger it and it'll fire another one and you re-trigger it and it'll fire another one so it it fires in sequence but only after each time it's been triggered and if loop is not checked then it'll just do once each and then it won't do it again so this would be good if there was like a series of things that you wanted to do one time so that would be perfect for the multi-gate. Something that you wanted to do one time, three things you wanted to do one time on each separate trigger of an event. So let's take a look at how that would plays out right now. So I'll compile, save. The trigger's right over here on the ramp. So you'll watch, there's a two second delay in the display. So it's gonna say live, we'll come back. It's gonna say laugh, and then it's gonna say love, right? But now if I come back, nothing. So it, it fired off on sequence, all it had, and that's it. Now if we want this to keep firing that sequence, and this is per triggered event. So if we come back into the widget blueprint here, and now let's say we put on loop, loop almost has the same effect as reset, because watch what happens. Now if we go, we set it loop, compile and save that, we're gonna come in here and hit play. Then I cross, live, laugh, love. But instead of that being it, I can just keep going. Live, laugh, love. So it just keeps firing over again. It's re-triggerable, I guess you could say. And there's that. And then the other thing, that is the same effect as if we just plugged it into reset. So then the other thing, the only other thing we have here is we have this option for is random. We'll compile and save that. And now it's not going to say live, laugh, love. It's just going to go in a random order. So let's see, we'll come up here, we hit play. So it's it should start out with live, but it's going to be random, so it might be something else. So well, it started with live laugh, love, hmm, nothing, huh, that's interesting, let me double check that, oh, is random, so let's see if it, I'll save it again, let me come home and save, so it did live, laugh, love, which is weird, so let's see if it starts off with live, love, okay, laugh, live, and that's it. So even when it's on is random, it just does it once too. So that's interesting. So what we've seen so far is if is loop is checked, it'll just keep firing through this sequence one zero one two zero one two per triggered event. So it won't go this happens, this happens, this happens. It'll just do the first one. It gets triggered again. It'll do the second one. It gets triggered again. It'll do the third one. When it's on loop, it'll keep firing. If it's on is random, then it'll randomly fire whatever you got here, and it'll just do it once. If that's not checked, 
it'll just fire in order per event one time only. So there's a big do once component to the multi-gate, I guess is what I'm trying to say. If it's if if nothing else is checked, if reset's not checked, if is random is blank, if loop is blank, then it's gonna just fire in sequence per trigger one time only, and that's it. And unless you set it to reset or loop, that's it, one and you're done. Whatever you got here loaded up as events. So anyway, that's all I had for today. I thought it was just interesting. That's the multi-gate.